Hey, what's going on guys? Rob here from Rob is Tech, and I just wanted to do a little tutorial today on a Final Cut Pro Basic. This is going to be on how to move around text in a Final Cut Pro project, or Final Cut Pro 10 specifically. As you can see here, I've moved my text around, I gave it some color, basically how to spruce up your text and move it around and not make it be stationary. This is a simple thing that I don't think many people know how to do, and it's a really good tool to know how to do. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new project here. We're just going to call this YouTube Text Tutorial. I can spell tutorial, right? And we just do this. It's fine. So we're going to make a new event here. I'm just going to drag this clip of an iPhone in here. And let me go ahead and take out that audio. All right, so let's say I wanted to name this, give it a name. You know, we all have our text browser over here we have all these different cool text effects this and that uh so let's say we just wanted to give this one a maybe wanted to give it kind of a special one let's go in here and see maybe we wanted to give it i don't know some information you know just kind of look around see what you want um let's say we wanted to do a moving one okay let's say this one we just wanted to make it move around sure that's all fun and good so let's go ahead and take it and drag it up on top of the clip in the air, first off, we're going to see it's right smack in the middle, and we don't want it right there. The iPhone's right in the middle. We want to ma maybe move it over to the left, the bottom corner, maybe the right. So let's just go ahead and put here, I don't know, let's just put iPhone 4. It's an iPhone 4. So um, before we get into moving it, well, I guess the first thing we really should do is move it. This is the simplest thing to do. Um, so you'll see here in your lists here of things you know to move around, we'll get to the face, the outline, the color, all that simple. But nowhere does it let you move the text. And I'm all used to Final Cut Express before this, where you were keyframing and moving the text around that way. This is totally different. So the way you actually want to do it is click up on the Video tab, and you want to go down here to where it says Transform. And you can pretty much leave all these settings the same. I wouldn't really mess with this unless you know what you're doing. And click this button right here. Now this will allow you to click and drag the text around to any place on the screen. You can ignore these resizing windows. Don't mess with that. Just move this around. So let's say we want to move this right there. We're good. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to enter or just click this and that'll leave it there. And now our text is set. That's the easiest way to move your text around. I that's the only way I know how to do it. There might be another another way, but that's what I've been doing. I'll go over here to text, and again we can change the font here. So we can go. I don't know. Let's say we wanted to do. I don't know. You, you can pick any one that's your preference. Let's say we wanted to pick this one, marker felt. Another cool thing with Final Cut um, Pro 10 that you can do with text is you don't have to make if you want to change the font in text. You don't have to make individual text boxes for each one. For example, let's say I want to say iPhone 4, and I wanted to say Apple at the bottom. And we actually need to move this text up here again. Go to transform, bring this up, and click it again. Um, what we can do is we can actually change the font of the apple by just by clicking and holding and highlighting that selected area. And we can go ahead and change the font. So you can just type everything out in one box and then be able to change that font and style it and adjust it and all that. So there it is, iPhone for Apple. Same thing goes with color. I'm sorry, that's my email. Uh, same thing goes with color. We can go ahead and go here to the face, and we want to go ahead and click that so we can see what it looks like here. Let's say face color. We're highlighting the apple. Apple, we want to do, I don't know, maybe blue or red, whatever we want to do. Let's do the classic. I don't know. We can go over and change these. You know, we can, you know, change all these to what we want. Let's say we wanted to do that. Uh, whatever. We, let's just, for example, say make it yellow. We can go up here to iPhone 4, and of course, if you just left it, if you didn't highlight anything, the whole thing would change. Um, both sets of text would change. We can click this and uh, change this to maybe a, I don't know, blue. So that's what, you know one of the things we can do. Another thing is you go here and outline the text. So let's say we wanted to have an outline color for all of these, of or for the first one, let's say we wanted to have an outline color of... Uh, pink and you can do all these different things you can really make your text look nice there's glow there's drop shadows let's say we wanted to give it a, a drop shadow here a really dark drop shadow so we wanted to do I don't know maybe we can actually spruce it up maybe we can make it a different color so let's say we wanted to make a a red drop shadow. I mean you, you can go and do all this all day um you know, it, it's really simple. I mean, this is just the simplest thing. So this is a basic Final Cut Pro tutorial. I hope this guy's helped you. If you guys have any basic, you know, things you want to see, I mean, I, 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 I'm stuttering now. 
I've looked on YouTube and I just think that people who are just getting to video editing, I'm fortunate enough that I've been in this field for a while to know the basics, but I haven't seen a basic one that shows you how to move the text around if you're if you're new to this or, you know, so how to move pictures or something around. I mean, obviously if you're coming into this saying this is a low price point, three hundred dollars is a really good price point to get into, and you don't know how to do simple things, you're probably gonna get really intimidated and just leave. Where the power of Final Cut Pro, though I'm not I'm not very happy about it, you know, going from uh, a professional, I think that this, of course, you know, we can get a whole battle of iMovie Pro and all this, though it's not the most the most powerful, it's very elegant, and I think for someone who enjoys making prosumer movies, this is what you want to use, and I think that even if you're a professional, there's some instances where you're doing a simple short movie that Final Cut Pro works, just don't get intimidated by it, I, and I want to help you guys if you have, you know, simple requests you guys want to see. I'm all here to show you, so I think the next tutorial I'll do, maybe if I get some more feedback, maybe I'll do one on how to move, you know, pictures around, um, this is just how to move text around, it's basically the same, simple, um, same, um, concept, uh, but if you guys have any, uh, other things like color correction or anything you guys want to see, let me know, leave a um, comment below, I'll be sticking with my regular technology videos, which probably won't always be tutorials, maybe they might be, you know, Apple videos, maybe they're just going to be app reviews, any technology thing, you got to cover here. So leave your comments below if you guys have any feedback. If not, then um, if you want to give me a thumbs up, that'd be great. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, thanks, guys, and I'll see you next video.